Yeah, what's the move, man? Y'all on tune to Blow Talk TV, and I'm your host, Pissy P. Anki, Lam Lamumba, a.k.a. Blow Lambo from out of Barrio, you hear me? Um, do what you do, hit that like button off the rip, you know what I'm saying? Um, I ain't gonna say hit the dislike button because you gotta like this because I'm finna keep this one all the way real, you know what I'm saying? If you're not subscribed to this channel, hit that subscribe before you leave. Leave a comment. I know I say the good, the bad, the ugly, but I'ma just say keep the comments respectful on this because like I say, I'ma keep it all the way real. You know what I'm saying? And um, hey, if you like to help see this channel grow, man, you can send a donation to my cash app. Lamumba 16, that's L A M U M B A 16. Stanking motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? So let's get into it, man. This one about um, Vlad TV, Boosie going on there, calling T.I. a snitch. Now, I would have did this video a couple of days ago, but you know, I was waiting on these hints to get in. You know, I thought it was going to come on my day off, you know what I'm saying? And then, you know, that worked. The work days came up, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to play it. No, I'm going to play it. Here, like. Anyway, I'm going to try to make this as quick as possible. You know what I'm saying? Because I got a lot to say. But before I say anything, this is coming from somebody who's been lied on, who's been snitched on, who lost everything I had due to this type of stuff, right? Now, off rip, man, I blame Vlad for that. And, you know, a lot of people always call him Vlad a culture vulture, and I'm not so quick to jump on that. But on this one, I, I would say so because I feel like now, at this point that the days went by, I, I, don't, I doubt anything going to jump out between T.I. and Boosie. But, bro, with the right-minded people, it could have easily turned to saying, you know this person, fool with this person, but the person you questioning, he put himself up to be on such a high pedestal of uh, being a real, you're going to throw an issue at him you know you he spoke on. And so, now do you view him this way? And this your boy. You know what I'm saying? Knowing what, what that can and will cause, especially two people who live in the same city. It's a difference you stay over here and I stay over there. Now, okay, we all know that uh, how Booster went that gangster about what he did. You know what I'm saying? Cool. We all know how T.I. did Alpha Omega when Alpha Omega stuff came up. You know, which Alpha Omega said, I didn't snitch on him. I lied on him. You know what I'm saying? I never met that person a day in my life. I did that to protect the friend. They was either going to send him or send him. I don't know that person from here to there. I got up there and lied on that person, somebody I never met. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, I don't respect none of that because I've been lied on. You hear me? I ended up losing a six-bedroom house and six cars when I was in Jacksonville, Florida. Y'all know I'm from the A-Town. But now I live out here in St. Louis, you know what I'm saying, with my sister, due to people being snitched on and lied on, you know what I'm saying? So, but I'm going to keep it all the way real. So we know how Boosa played that situation. We see how T.I. played the situation, right? So, which hot boy, real hot boy Terrence Gangster Williams brought it to the forefront first, but as a shot to Boosa. And then, but Vlad the one brought him on there and questioned him. But a lot of people say, oh, he was paid to do that. I mean, however. All I know, you can tell when Vlad brought that up, really, Boosie wasn't even trying to get into that. Because you done said all this about gangster. Now when he bring it up again, I mean, I don't, how you know he did? You don't know that, Vlad. You don't know that. Well, if he said it, why would he say that? And you know, you back Boosie in the corner. Well, yeah, if if that's what T.I. did, he a rat. Our album ain't coming out this, that, and third. Now he got to put on the facade because now, basically, you 
you, okay, fair enough, fair enough. You know how Vlad does, you know. Now this, that, and third. Okay, well, if that's what you you, that's how I feel. You didn't have to ask something that's already known, especially with two guys that's dealing with each other. You know, and um, uh, like I say, y'all, uh, for one. Okay, like I said, I'm gonna keep it all the way real. Personally, somebody snitching on somebody who's not gonna face charges behind it. I mean, I don't see that as you just sun somebody off. I don't see that as okay, I'm a dope boy. I done got knocked off way over here, but I know about these other dope boys way over here in this city and this state. And I get these people information on them people getting them knocked off. They ain't have nothing, nothing at all. You know what I'm saying? You can be snitched on two ways. You can be involved or something, and you cannot be involved. But I not got caught up, but I know y'all got this going on, and I finna get them a couple of more fish to take down while taking me down. Now these people, they 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 families' life done changed overnight. They cheering went for eating good, but having this, having that, to barely getting it. I don't respect that, but. If nobody faced consequences behind it, why would you sit in jail and just rot just to have so people can say, oh, he a real one? Man, that, that's nothing because your family out here starving while you trying to prove that you a real one. What fool does that? Half the people that saying that about that man, about T.I., they would do the same thing. I'm gonna tell you, man, this how you know when folk real. This how you know when folk not real. When they adamantly speak on something like, yeah, this, then and the third is trying to speak with so much emotion. They ain't about that. If they ain't saying, well, this, well, that, on this hand, nah, I don't respect that, but you know what I'm saying, this, that, and the third. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people, that's just like how you got somebody who will come around you and they'll put on such a tough persona like they can do this and do that. Really deep down, they scared, but they are they trying to get you to think that they bout that to keep you away. Now, on the other end, like I say, I didn't never look at it this way till I heard somebody else say it this way. Now, I don't now, I don't know how they do it, but this one thing I say, them people just concerned with closing cases. Cause it could be somebody killed a hundred years ago. You still ain't the case still open. Okay, that's what. The, and believe it or not, for gangster to have to tell on them people, he would have had to put his role in. They give you that opportunity to if you miss anything out, and they can come back and verify where well, you didn't tell us this. If he had anything, he had to involve himself in it, along with telling them. Okay, doing this, Sterling, Mosquito, them did this. But that's the part I didn't think about. Just like, um, you know, I didn't think about the part where they may call those people family and say, okay, okay, we saw the murder. We know who did it, but this person did, right? But the whole time you could have been, not knowing you could have been hanging with that person's family. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of times, a lot of people Oh, your people killed my people. You know what I'm saying? I didn't look at that part of, of it at first. You know what I'm saying? And T.I. situation ain't nobody. It just a, it was just a gun situation. You know what I'm saying? Gangster situation, people actually lost their life. And by them knowing, oh, yeah, that's who they saying. You know what I'm saying? Trust me, dog. I, 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 I've, I've let a friend. I don't respect snitching. I let my best friend go because of snitching, but I didn't do it off top. I gave him a chance when he got out. You know what I'm saying? Me and this man ain't never had an argument in our life. The first time we had an argument was the last time we was ever cool. You know, but, you know, the, the thing I didn't like about that situation, you know, I'm out here while you going through your thing, he beat three murders. He beat three murders, but he snitched. Once again, he told on one of our partners and have nothing to do with what he got going on. 
even though he was a accessory to that murder because he the one told what's the name about that. He he was walking through the hood, heard them boys talk about it. He banked out and went back around the way and told what's the name down. Oh, yeah, I just I heard them boys around there. Okay, him and what's the name went back around there and what's the name went and playing. So he gave them information. He told them everything what happened on that to get the heat off him for the three murders they couldn't improve on him. Now, the whole what hurt me about that so much, the whole time he was going through that, people in the hood saying whatever, whatever. When I came around, they knew they couldn't say that. They knew I wasn't going for that. You know what I'm saying? I'm out here protecting you, and then you get out, treat me like I'm the enemy, you know? So, like I say, long story, make a long story short, man, we was on... On the way to Atlanta, I want to tell this story on a later video. But anyway, man, the first time we got in an argument was our last. You know what I'm saying? I asked him about it. Man to man, just me and him in the car, did you do it? Did you really do what they tried to say you did? He kind of beat around the bush and was still kind of throwing what's the name situation out there, never minding what I'm talking to you about. You know what I'm saying? Now, like, well, hey, man, look, man. And I hated this 